hotel site. Whoa, shit. I thought I freaking flew right up to the hotel Mirai right there. Wow. This is pretty nice hotel. The hotel Mirai, huh? It, it looks like it's named for the Japanese word for the future. When we were told to live... I mean, your names are in Japanese. You don't have to, like, uh, freaking... What is that? Oh, I think it's so well. It means... What do you uh, either have Hotel Future or uh, Hotel Mirai and you don't have to explain it? Because you don't explain what your name, like, kanji means. Anyways. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we would have to pitch a tent or something. <laughs> if we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfortable isn't an option here. We don't even know why we are being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Well, it seems obvious that this area will make a good base. So why don't we look around for a bit? Why? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? A map will display. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, and then we have like a mailbox. Hey, that's. Oh, uh, okay. And that's that's my room. Can I go in here then? This cottage seems like a makeshift hotel guest room. Go 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 in. No, I cannot go in. I'm just gliding over it. Why am I so short? Look at it. My height goes to his freaking stomach. Why am I so short? This freaking... They didn't fix the camera. Even the walking is so awkward. Thank god this game is not about walking. Oh, hey dude, what up? What? Huh? Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. This guy's already in a crappy mood. <laughs> what are you looking at? You got something you wanna say, bastard? <laughs> uh, I relax. Fuyu, Fuyuhiko, we are only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? huh? Introduce yourself? <laughs> See, you haven't been properly, properly introduced to each other, right? Huh. <laughs> Name is Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Kuzuru, Kuzuru. <laughs> Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with guys. <laughs> what is Ultimate Yakuza? What the heck? What the heck? The school will freaking uh, make a future Yakuza? The Yakuza is a great problem in Japanese society right now. They want to eliminate Yakuza. And, and, and they, they're... They want to support Yakuza in the school? What in the world? What, what, were, they, what were they thinking? Even though he got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Uh, Fuyuhiko is a high school student and heir to the Kuzuru clan. Huh? The Kuzuru clan? Don't tell me he is... I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzuru clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation with a membership surpassing 30,000. <laughs> Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to Yakuza clan, and it is the Kuzuryu clan, no less. <sighs> By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is expressive, expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close, I nearly lost all my fingers, yay! Nagito, you're you're like my savior or something. <laughs> you're just exaggerating. Uh, I guess not. Hey, Kura. hey, bastard! If you're all done here, how about you, dumbass, make like a tree and fuck off? I leveled up. Does that mean my pet pooped? Yes. What the. F 
Hey, are you the guy who cool? <laughs> are you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know. At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girl safe. Uh, you're right. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. Mom. Um, Mahiru Koizumi. Um, I'll be counting on you from now on. Ultimate photographer. Alright. Alright, okay, photographer, sure. Mairu is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a, a photojournalist. Journalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous um, awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there is a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Honestly, I'm a little re relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Huh? Decent? <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're ul really ultimates or like just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island. But I was worried, worried things. But I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? <laughs> huh? You don't know? That's what the stuffed animal Usami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, this joke of a school trip will be over, and we can all leave this island together. That that's all we have to do, and we go and we can go home. Is that true? Did she really mean that? Yeah. Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is like really important. Mm. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we li live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. I I even so, what's the reason? Wh why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along? It doesn't make any sense. Um, I may not know why we are here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not a big of deal? Really? We were told we were on a school trip without any warning, and then we were taken to a place like this. And then we were told to forget about Hope's Big Academy. He is sure this isn't... Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Huh? Don't huh me. What about your introduction? I've been waiting like forever, you know? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Uh, nice to meet you too. Mm. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? <laughs> sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as ultimate uh, unre unreliable Hajime. <laughs> it's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> Huh? I see. <laughs> it's like a freaking goofy or something. <laughs> I see. You whipped already, Hajime. I'm take. I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? Yo, I don't know. Oh, I cannot go up there. There's hotel restaurant. Oh, uh, Hajime, don't you think it's best to if you look around here for some more? Oh, y yeah, you're right. What what else to s Oh, it's this... My throat hurts. This game makes me talk constantly. And so I my throat gets really dry. So my throat hurts. And also, can I mention that his ding-dong is like the size of a horse? Or maybe he put a rock in there? Or maybe the pants are really tight or something? But his ding-dong is actually like showing you know it's it's i don't i'm not really comfortable with that what the heck dude why are your balls so big <laughs> that's right you haven't told me your name 
My name. I am the ultimate team manager. Wait. Hold on. You're a team manager? I thought team managers are usually uh, run by females, not like uh, do with the biggest ball or who have to take a shit. Nekomaru Nidai! I don't understand. How are you a team? Oh, I see a whistle along the freaking metal chain along your neck. You could just wear a whistle, you know, not with the metal chain. Uh, hello, I'm ha Hajime Hinata. Hold it right there, your voice is too soft! Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach! Uh, I'm Hajime Hinata. No, you can be louder than that. Do it again! My name is Hajime Hinata. Please to make your acquaintance. I am Nekumaru Nidai. Don't forget it even if you go to hell. I am the ultimate manager. Nekumaru Nidai. You don't need to repeat your name so much. I won't forget it. Uh, I agree to your terms. He sure is boisterous. It's just not his voice, his whole body seems loud. Yep, his balls were really loud too. Nekumaru Nida is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager? So he's not on the team, he's just manages hmm. one? He's just, he just, he's not just a team manager after all, he's an ultimate. He traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sport clubs managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. So he also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to national victory as well. Rumor has it he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. If that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... Nyaha! But with a build like this, he would be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. Oh! I didn't want to bother him. Alright. I think we're... Oh! Since we're done, oh my goodness, this freaking dude. Maybe I should um, go inside now? Or maybe I can? Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, and there are more girls. Yeah, even the inside of this place look grand too. If this was really a normal school trip, I would be smiling by now. But why are we the only one in this hotel? Well, it's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel is pretty well kept. And it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? State your business. Well, I, I just want to introduce myself. Is that alright with you? An introduction. Understood. I don't mind. Um, Hajime Hi Um, oh, I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is... What? Is she a joke character? Her name is so stupid. My name is Peko Pekoyama. <laughs> Peko Pekoyama. What? It is nice to meet you too. Ultimate Swordswoman. What the heck? What did they name them? Peko Peko Woman. Well, this dignified looking woman is known as Ultimate Swordswoman. It is hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Peko Yama could be so skilled with the blade. I've heard she's a kendo master and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. I mean, that's the girl's voice. Well, there's something definitely up with her. Her eyes are really intense. If that... If what that rabbit said is true, we're expected to live together on this island. 
Y yeah, you're right. Hm. This is necessary for men and women to who live together, respect each other, don't try anything inappropriate. I would prefer not to kill anyone. K kill? Isn't that the sword on your back blade by a bag made out of bamboo? Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a uh, miss aim blow can be fatal. Yeah. Well, an aim blow can be fatal too. Uh, I, I will keep that in mind. Yeah. All right. Have I seen this lady before? No. There's some girl playing an arcade game, and she looks completely absorbed by it. Shinto-kun. Uh, Hajime, you haven't probably introduced your pro properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Y yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on their game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me, I, I would like to introduce myself. Oi. Hey, Chikaki. Huh? Uh, Chiaki. Oh, sorry, I must been a little too focused on my game. <laughs> a little, are you sure about that? Oh. Um, let's see. Alright, oh, introduction, got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genre. Genre. Nice to meet you. Could I be the ultimate gamer, please? You, do you have to be good at games, or do you just play a lot of games to become the ultimate gamer? Oh my god! The fandom in the chat is going crazy! Chiaki number one! Chiaki! Chiaki second best after Nagito! Chiaki! <laughs> uh, I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, totally. It seems like this conversation is going rather slow. <laughs> well, she's gaming right now. Uh, it's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. <gasps> That's how I am! Is Chiaki me? Am I Chiaki? Because when I meet new people, I get really nervous. And I'm really shy when I meet new people, so I don't really talk much or... I don't really talk slow, but I don't really talk much because I'm really shy. But if I if they're my friend, then I have no problem getting along with them. Oh my god. She's still focused on her game and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? She, her drool is actually ultimate drool. She might be the ultimate drooler of all time. Look at that drool, man! Like, I get that you're sleepy, but when someone's sleepy, you don't drool. Like, holy shit. And also my pet just pooped, so I need to clean it up. Oh. I don't have any presents. I think... Yeah, it's, it's well, no need to clean it, I guess. Camera... Nope, I don't really want to talk to you. Monitor for safety. I guess we don't get coins now. That's the game machine. Arcade machine. <laughs> Isn't it great? This sure is a grand hotel. It's like we were at an inn in the hot spring district or something. Oh, if you guys don't know about that, uh, in Japanese inn, so like where the hot onsen are located in their property of like a, I guess the uh, Japanese hotel or traditional style hotel. Um, they tend to have arcade machine in the lobby, so you put like a dollar or two to play like 15 or 30 minute duration of a classical SNES games. So that's that's very common. So that's what he was referring to. I would like to click on 
that stairs. 